So we've already looked into the yearly relegation odds in the championship for next season. If you've not seen that video, make sure to go ahead and check it out. We checked out the 10 sides who are currently most likely to go down based on the bookmakers odds. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 14 championship teams based on the early promotion odds. I'd like to get some early takes in the comments down below from you guys as well. Who are you fancying for the top six, particularly the top two in a playoff winner? But without any further ado, let's jump in. So starting out in 14th place, the bookies have Swansea City. City with promotion odds of 8 to 1. Now, so much change is expected at Swansea over this summer that it's tough to get a read on them at the moment. Let's not forget they ended last season with quite a flourish, winning seven of their last nine matches. Seemed like everything was falling into place for Russ Martin, this group of players in system, but all that is expected to get ripped up this summer, so we're not quite sure where they stand as of now going into next season. Uh, with Martin off to Southampton, as of recording, looks as if it will be Michael Duff coming into Swansea, which I'm a fan of the appointment, but it's quite a change in style. You'd probably say that someone like Duff is more similar to a Steve Cooper type manager than he is a Russ Martin, and with quite a few players expected to leave as well. I mean, Joel Perot's continually been link with the move away with his contract situation and um, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of interest in Matt Grimes as well so Swansea right now tough to get a reading on feels like it could be a bit of a rebuild with Martin heading out and then all the way down in 13th the bookies have Millwall also with promotion odds of 8-1 to one. now for a lot of last season Millwall were performing like a top six side held that place down in the playoffs for quite a considerable amount of time and then it was around the time of that final international break we had in that championship season and then coming back from that that Millwall just seemed to lose a little bit of that spark and a bad run towards the end of the season ultimately saw them slipping out of it. Now, under Row at Millwall have been there or thereabouts in the playoff picture for the vast majority of his tenure so far and to be honest, I expect them to be in and around that picture again. Whether or not the strength of the championship going into next season will see Millwall regress down is up to them really. Can they go ahead and continue moving forward even with um, the league expected to be a little bit stronger? I think with a good summer, there's no reason why not. Coming in 12th place, the Bucky's then have Sunderland with promotion odds of 13 to 2. Now, I'm not going to lie, myself personally, I think I'd have Sunderland considerably higher, especially than some of the sides who the Bucky's currently have above them based on the current promotion odds. But they won't have Amadiello uh, going into next season, and so that's probably something that the Bucky's will be taking into consideration but I really like the way they've started out this summer and their recruitment they've shown that there is money there to spend uh, bringing in a few youngsters Joe Bellingham and uh, Lewis Amedo especially really excited about the future of both those players and Sunderland as they showed last season are good at playing the loan market I think they could have first pick of a lot of those high potential Premier League youngsters that will be available uh, to be loaned out to championship clubs this season given you know Tony Mowbray's excellent track record with developing those youngsters and how well some of them did on loan last season so 13 to 2 at the moment don't get me wrong there is room for more recruitment to be done but right now I think I'd have Sunderland higher up than that coming in 11th place the bookies then have Blackburn also with promotion odds of 13 to 2 now quite similarly to Millwall for a lot of last season Blackburn were performing like top six side but a bad run towards the end of the season ultimately saw them falling short just two wins from the last 11 championship matches last season for Blackburn so saw them fall agonisingly short. Now, John Dahl Thomason is an interesting one at the moment. He has been linked to a few vacancies from around Europe, but as of recording, he's obviously still the man in the hot seat. And Blackburn have been quite proactive with getting some early business done, some savvy pickups on free transfers. Obviously, it was quite important that they moved fast, um, given some of the outgoings, you know, Brenton Diaz, for example. No reason why Blackburn won't be there or thereabouts next season, but can they bridge the gap with potentially a stronger league um, to contend? with I'm not sure all the way up in 10th place, the Bookies then have Ipswich with promotion odds of 11 to 2. Now, out of the three sides coming up from League One, the Bookies are by far and away most confident with Ipswich doing well next season. If you watch the relegation odds video that we did last week for the Championship, the Bookies currently have Plymouth down as the uh, relegation favourite. Then they've got Sheffield Wednesday somewhere in the middle between these two sides. But Ipswich with promotion odds of 11 to 2. Quite a few people fancying them to do a Sunderland from last season and just thrive in the league above and to put up a really strong challenge for the top six. And there's definitely the ingredients there to go ahead and do so. A top young coach in Kieran McKenna with a good ownership structure which is willing to back him and a team which is already flooded with championship experience. But even with all that, sometimes those types of teams 
don't um, acclimatise to the step up, but it's hard not to get excited about Ipswich at the moment. Coming in ninth place, the bookies then have Coventry also with promotion odds of 11 to 2, obviously the playoff finalists from last season. We have spoke about Coventry quite a bit on the channel throughout this summer so far, especially on the Championship Transfer Room Roundup with some of the early business that they've got done and also players being linked with the move away from the club, uh, Jokeres and Hamer. A lot of people interested in them at the moment and to see how much Coventry will actually get for those players if they are indeed sold like a lot of people think they will be. What Coventry do have in place already though is the span of a solid Championship team with that group of players and a top Championship manager in Mark Robbins, who's capable of getting so much out of what's not really been that much in terms of an overall transfer budget afforded to him um, and a wage structure and things like that. So Coventry continually punching above their weight and even if they do lose a few of those big hitters, the bookies still seem confident that they'll be in and around the mix of the playoffs. Coming in eighth place, the bookies then have Stoke with promotion odds of five to one. Now it always feels like Stoke are a little bit of an outlier within the bookies promotion favourites every season um, and every time we come to do this at the start of the year. The bookies always seem to be very hot on them and ultimately it's never happened for them in the championship so far since they've been relegated from the championship they finished in the bottom half of the championship every single season and look more likely to be relegated than promoted if we're being honest they've got a manager now in Alex Neal who if back correctly I do think can deliver maybe more exciting project than what Stoke fans have seen over these last few years. And we did see some good patches from that Stoke and Neil side last season. But on top of that as well, we also saw quite a bit of inconsistency. And as of right now, I mean, I don't even think Stoke fans would have themselves placed this high. The Wookiees then have West Brom in 7th place with promotion odds of 9-2, to two, but there's so much to take into consideration with West Brom off the pitch at the moment with the ownership issues, whether a potential takeover will happen or not this summer, that it's almost impossible to make much of a call on them right now and the state of play that West Brom will be dealing with going into next season. So, yeah, promotion odds of 9-2, to two, if they were to be able to build on the back of last season, all the ownership issues are resolved um, quite easily and Corbran is to stick around then why not but all of that to, for all that to fall into place I think he's asking a lot at the moment coming in sixth place the bookies then have Norwich with promotion odds of nine to two now last season was a massive underachievement by Norwich's own expectations they were one of the bookies favorites for automatic promotion last year and they fell well short of the mark now there is there are a lot of moving parts at Carrow Road at the moment Stuart Webber stepping away from the project being one of the biggest but they've already been fairly active in the market so far especially adding a little bit more experience to that squad and it did seem as if they were lacking a few of those leaders on the pitch from last season and while there still is plenty of recruitment to be done I still think they have the spine of a championship team that could challenge for promotion next season let's not forget this will be David Wagner's first chance to have a pre-season with this group as well and properly implement his style the jury's very much still out on this Norwich group at the moment I think it's fair to say after how badly last season went I think the same could also be said for Watford as well the bookies giving them promotion odds of 4 to 1 last season being a massive underperformance I think Watford were the outright favourites to win the championship last season but didn't get anywhere close to that Valor and Ishmael's coming this season and it's going to be very interesting to see how quickly he can get that Watford group up to scratch with his ideal playing style obviously they have lost undoubtedly their best player from last season in Joel Pedro and they've not really been that active in the market as of yet so it's tough to make a call on them right now into fourth place the bookies then have Middlesbrough with promotion odds of three to one now under Michael Carrick Middlesbrough last season were performing like your typical automatic promotion side with their points per game amount of goals they were scoring and the style of football as well which was also fantastic now with Middlesbrough there is work to do to get their squad back up to the standard that they had it at last season particularly with uh, Kilo needs returning to their parent club also the future of Tuba Akbom still up in the air and whether or not Burr will go ahead and cash in on him this summer but given what we've seen from Carrick so far I would back them to be right up there mixing it with the top teams in the championship once again but it's going to be a question of how strong the three coming down from the Premier League are and so coming in third place the bookies then have Southampton with promotion odds of 5-2. to two. Now there are 
quite a lot of exciting young talents in this Southampton squad, which I am excited to see in the Championship. Obviously, last season in the Premier League was a bit of a disaster for them, but I actually think with a full season in the Championship for a lot of those youngsters, it could actually serve their development quite well. Very interesting appointment with Russ Martin coming in as well. He's a little bit of an opinion splitter in terms of what people make of him. Obviously, two mid-table season finishes with Swansea so far. This will be the first time he's managed in the Championship with serious expectations on his shoulders to deliver at least a top six finish at a bare minimum but I think a lot of people think Southampton should be pushing for the top two particularly if they do keep hold of some of those bigger assets at their disposal right now. Coming in second place the bookies then have leads with promotion odds of two to one and these top places are quite difficult to determine right now because we ultimately don't know what the state of play is going to be at each of these sides come the start of the season in terms of personnel playing squad who will be taken away from that side that was relegated from the Premier League last season and who they'll go ahead and add to that squad. The big thing with Leeds was that they got the takeover job done um, quite swiftly and that's happened with the 49ers so they can properly start to prepare for next season now but between now and the start of the season there is a lot to do. I am expecting a lot of departures and a lot of moving parts behind the scenes as well so we can't definitively say anything right now but the bookies are fancying them to be mixing it with the automatic sides. But Coming in as the outright favourites for the championship right now, we do have Leicester City with promotion odds of 13 to 8. Now, this isn't much of a surprise given the squad they're working with right now. They do have a ridiculous amount of talent within their ranks. Now, it does beg the question how many of those players will still be at Leicester come the start of the season. We expect plenty of turnover to happen within that squad. But it's such an intriguing managerial appointment they've gone for in Enzo Maresca, the uh, former Manchester City assistant manager. After they do recoup some money for some of their bigger stars, I'm sure they will have plenty of money to spend in this window as well, and I am expecting them to be quite strong going into next season. So as of recording, while there's still plenty of moving parts, no surprises that Leicester are the favourites right now. But guys, there we have it. That will now wrap it up for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Do any of those odds surprise you right now? Any teams you'd have a little bit higher or lower? I think that certainly applies to me and how I feel about a few of those sides, but still quite a way to go before we do get into the start of this championship season as always guys if you're going to enjoy do leave a like and do stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content but other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one